All right, so here I'm under the under the Miata, and uh, you saw me put in the uh, the scoop here, right? The uh, the scoop here, this panel for the air scoop for the transmission. So when you look at the the uh, behind that behind this uh, this this brace here. And the uh, the center X brace here, um, right, and center X brace here, you see basically just an empty space, and you see little spots where where you could uh, basically attach fasteners, and you're like, okay, you know, seems like Mazda had intended for something to go there, like a panel, but there isn't one. So uh, so I made my own. So basically, I just took a piece of cardboard. I took a piece of cardboard and I kind of laid it up against there, uh, like so, you know, figured out, uh, just kind of marked it up and such. Uh, so basically I, I made it enough so that way it covers this, but but has enough space to uh, uh, leave the catalytic converter here, uh, you know, the second stage catalytic converter here um, alone, so that way it, it could basically uh, uh, cool, right? So my, my panel goes up to just uh, just before this uh, the end of this bolt here, so it's like so it goes like so and it and it, and it crosses underneath here, um, and I have it right here. So this is it right here. It's kind of glare from the reflection, but I'll say right there. So basically, you know, this is the trace from my uh, from my cardboard. I got you know little holes. That I uh, drew it out. So looking at it, and I, and I have an arrow pointed right there. I see that it says bottom and arrow. Arrow means you know forward, forward where the uh, of the car. So if it's like so. Oh. So if it's like so, you see those holes there. You know lines up. And stuff like so. So the hardest thing with uh, with making this uh, uh, this piece of this cover here, so I used a um, I used a uh, a three thirty second thickness. So I was gonna I was thinking about using like a, a sixteen gauge, but I think it's too thin uh, and flimsy, and it, it'll probably be kind of tinny, you know, just as far as sound goes. This one's a little bit thicker, so you guys should hear it. It sounds pretty solid. It doesn't sound all tinny because when it's thin, it's, it's, it's kind of sound tinny, right? Um, so uh, 330 seconds, and also you know this because this thing is just a, a flat plane. You know, there's no, there's no, uh, th there's, there's nothing here that, that you know there's no break in it basically. Um, so if it's too thin, it's it, it's kind of uh, it's not as strong either. So so a little bit thicker, and being aluminum, it's pretty light too. So no big deal. So uh, basically, how I Figure out the holes is basically I just put this piece before I before I uh before uh, um I drew the holes I just put this piece here you know up up against the the where where uh I placed it basically where I wanted to be and I just kind of eyeballed it um, and I just took some markers and and uh, took, you know drew some lines down to it and kind of eyeballed where where it, you know basically drew a little cross uh. You know, so I knew what to to drill. Yeah, even then, it wasn't perfectly lined up. Uh, so I had to uh, I had to basically overlice the holes, right? So I basically drilled these holes big enough so that way my my file, my round file, you know, rat tail file, could fit into the hole. So that way I could overlice it. So that's how that's how I basically you know. So the, my rat tail file is uh, God, I can't remember how big it is. It's a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. So this hole is a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, like I think one, probably a couple of sizes bigger than a quarter inch, I think. So anyways, um, so I got all five holes. Remember that the the mounting here is a uh, is you know obviously it's metric. So this is a M6 by uh, by one inch pitch. Excuse me, not one inch, one millimeter pitch. So M6 one millimeter pitch, and I got uh, I got. Uh, 25 millimeter uh, bolts. So here, look at my bolts here. 
So I got 25 millimeter bolt, 25 millimeter uh, button head bolts, right? With the Allen head, four, four millimeter, 25 millimeter uh, in length. So this is M6 by one one millimeter pitch, 25 millimeter in length. So this is a piece. Of, this is stainless, and also the washer is also stainless as well. This is non-magnetic stainless. So here's my uh, my magnetic tray, so nothing sticks. So it's non non-magnetic. Uh, so basically, I could you know fit this this up on there, onto you know the, the mounting spots here and and here here and up over here. Uh, other thing I also got um, besides that was a little little nylon spacers. So these are five millimeter. These are also M6 spacers, but five millimeter in thickness. So that way. Um, when the cover mounts on here, uh, when it mounts on here, it will be flush, you know, as flush as as it as it could be with the, with the uh, other cover here. If you mount it all the way, the the cover all the way flat against the mounting spot, it will actually be recessed from 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 this other cover here. So basically, everything here should be flush, you know, just like the, uh, the air scoop, just like the air scoop cover over here. The air scoop cover that thing is you know it's pretty much flush with with this here so i want everything to be nice and flush for you know for aerodynamic reasons um okay so yeah so let me uh, mount this then let's see if i can get the camera right there's always there's like no space in here this is my little cross space in here so i've got no space for anything um, let's see if I could mount the camera so you guys can see as best as you can. Yeah, that's probably about as close as I can get it, I think. Okay, so I'm probably gonna be in, in the way for most of the shots, but it's alright. So I got my. Uh, Bolts with washers and uh, and the uh, obviously the uh, the the uh, nylon spacer as well. So the nylon spacer goes between the uh, the cover plate and the uh, um, um, so it goes on like so like that. See that? So the nylon spacer, uh, just like you know, just like the. Uh, just like the front cover is, like so. So I'm not sure if the nylon spacer will get it perfectly flush, but it's gonna be pretty close, probably within a millimeter or two, which is should be fine. It's aluminum, so it's nice and light, so no big deal. The next one, next, uh, next um, pieces. Third one here. Again, got my washer. Uh, excuse me, spacer, washer, and uh, and Allen head screw. Fourth one. So all together, there's five of them. So I'm using 25 millimeter screws, but you can also use 20 millimeter screws as well. But 20, 20 millimeter screws doesn't quite go all the way in, um, all the way through, through the, the nut on the other side. 
Uh, it gets pretty close all the way through, but wait, not quite. Uh, but the 25 obviously does go through, and it doesn't just go through, but it also you know, sticks out a little bit uh, on the other side. Five of them in. Now I just need to screw them in. So I can screw them in until they, they until the, the screw stops and I back it out half a turn. That way I could kind of uh, move the cover around a little bit just to. Uh, just to get a little bit of a fit up. Okay, so there it is. Turn. So there's a little bit of wiggle room. You can see. I want to make sure you know that the edge of this doesn't touch anything. Otherwise, it it might be kind of noisy or whatever. You know. Uh, you know, it could rattle. So it looks, it looks good to me. So I'm just tighten it up now. Alright, now with the wrench. five millimeter spacers I think it would have been better if I used a uh, quarter inch spacers quarter inch is a little bit more a quarter, let's see five millimeters a quarter inch is uh, I think six point something six point three millimeters or something like that it's, it's close to six and a half millimeters so then I think that might have been better uh, just because now I'm looking at this thing I can see that my plate here is, is a little bit more recessed than, than, the, uh, than the other than the other covers Oh, just a little bit, just by like a, a millimeter or two. So that's why I think a quarter inch spacers would have probably been better. So that's tight. 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 Okay. Alright, so let's look at that. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's my? At least my gimbal is, keeps on turning on and off. So there's the uh, factory piece right here. And this is the piece piece that I made. All right. So it's like so. Clears uh, all the lines there. I guess I could have made this thing coming out more, cover all the lines here, but. But it's, that's like a lot of overhang here, where there's no, no support, no, no, none of the screws are there. So that's why I didn't do that. That's why I kind of stopped at the line there. Um, um, as you can see. So there. Obviously there's space here for the, um, for the um, catalytic converter. And you see the space for the, uh, uh, the mid-pipe section right there. So, so basically there you have it. Here's my uh, my new cover. So get better lighting. There it goes. All right, so that's it. So you know whether this helps aerodynamics or not, I have no idea. I think it I think it would help a little bit. Uh, whether it adds noise. You know, it's potentially it could add noise. But I think it's thick enough where it's not tinny. So the, the S-cube spacer uh, right here is actually thinner. So you can actually hear it. And the, the, 
the factory base because this is a two layer. There's, there's a layer underneath. There's this layer here and there's another layer underneath you can see. Uh, this one's kind of thin so you actually you can hear it a little bit noisier right more more hollow sounding more solid sounding because of the thickness and this one has shape to it so that's why it doesn't um that's why it doesn't sound as, as hollow because it has that shape because it's been bent it's not just flat all right that's it thanks for watching